this holy man fought to the death for the law of his God and did not fear the words of the godless, for he was built on solid rock. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. We prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries as we ask God for his mercy. Lord Jesus, you reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, mercifully pour out your Spirit upon us so that our hearts may possess that strong love by which the martyr, St. Vincent, triumphed over all bodily torments. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the second book of Samuel. David went to bring up the Ark of the Covenant, of Ark of God, from the house of Abiathar, into the city of David amid festivities. As soon as the bearers of the Ark of the Lord had advanced six steps, he sacrificed an ox and a fatling. Then David, girt with a linen apron, came dancing before the Lord with a bantam, as he and all the house of Israel were bringing up the ark of the Lord with shouts of joy and to the sound of the horn. The ark of the Lord was brought in and set in its place within the tent David had pitched for it. Then David offered burnt offerings and peace offerings before the Lord. When he finished making these offerings, he blessed the people in the name of the Lord of hosts. Then he distributed among all the people to each man and each woman in the entire multitude of Israel, a loaf of bread, a cut of roast meat, and a raisin cake. With this, all the people left for their homes. The word of the Lord. Who is the King of glory? It is the Lord. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. Lift up, O gates, your lintels. Reach up, you ancient portals, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. Who is this King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord, mighty in battle. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. Lift up, O gates, your lintels. Reach up, you ancient portals, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. The mother of Jesus and his brothers arrived at the house. Standing outside, they sent word to Jesus and called him. A crowd seated around him told him, Your mother and your brothers and your sisters are outside asking for you. But he said to them in reply, Who are my mother and my brothers? And looking around at those seated in the circle, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of God is my brother and sister and mother. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
If we remember back uh, what happened in the book of Samuel, right before today's first reading, we know that David was worried about bringing the ark of God into Jerusalem because it seemed to David that God might be displeased with what David was doing. So David had the ark of God remain at the house of Obed-Edom, and when he saw how much God had blessed Obed-Edom's household, then David knew, it's like, it is good for the Lord to dwell with me. And so he brings the Ark of the Covenant into Jerusalem, and we see just how happy David is that he is able to dwell near the Lord, so close to him and receive God's blessings. So then we think of that as we turn to the Gospel reading. And we know that, of course, the mother of Jesus... She's filled with the grace of God. God dwells fully already in her heart. And so Jesus, when he says to those seated around him, he says, if you do the will of God, you are my family. You are like my brother, sister, or mother. You have God within you, right? What a great joy that should bring to us to say whenever we do the will of God, whenever we listen to God and strive to follow his commandments, even better than what King David had. He was near God, but Jesus promises, I'm with you, I am within you. And so again today, we celebrate that great mystery, God dwelling with us as we receive him in this Eucharist, and we know that he gives us through this Eucharist the strength indeed to resist temptation and to be faithful to him. Placing our hope in Christ, we bring him these, our petitions. For Pope Francis, may God bless him with strength and courage as he leads the Church of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those entrusted with authority, power, and governance, may they be guided by the Holy Spirit in working for a world of peace and justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those enduring difficult family situations, may the unending and conditional love of the Lord guide them in their struggles. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this community of faith, may the Holy Spirit draw us ever closer to one another and to the Lord as we labor for his kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the souls of the faithful departed, May they soon be welcomed to the wedding feast of the Lamb. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the soul of Leo Shiner, for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, as the voices of our hearts reach your ears, may you indeed fill us again with your abundant blessings. For we ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed 
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Sanctify our offerings by your blessing, O Lord, we pray, and by your grace. May we be set afire with that flame of your love through which St. Vincent overcame every bodily torment through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr Vincent, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and, once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Sean, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed.
Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me, says the Lord. Let us pray. May the sacred mysteries of which we have partaken, O Lord, we pray, give us that determination which made your blessed martyr Vincent faithful in your service and victorious in suffering through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl out the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. We gather together to honor our mother and our perpetual help. We recall how she helped others. Her whole life was a lesson in love. Mother of perpetual help, today we face so many difficulties. Your picture tells us so much about you. It reminds us to reach out and help those in need. Help us understand that our lives belong to others as much as they belong to us. Mary, model of Christian love, we know we cannot heal every ill or solve every problem, but with God's grace, we intend to do what we can. May we be true witnesses to the world that love for one another really matters. May our daily actions proclaim how fully our lives are modeled after yours, mother of perpetual health. Mary, you were a woman of steadfast faith, your faith in Jesus never wavered. Model of all believers, pray to the Holy Spirit for us. Help us not only to accept all your son teaches us, but to put that teaching into practice. Mother of perpetual help, child Jesus ran to you for comfort and reassurance. You did not see him as only a frail child. Moved by the Holy Spirit, you accepted Jesus as the son of the most high, the long awaited Messiah. Following your example of faith, help us recognize Jesus in those we meet, especially the poor and the lonely, sick and the elderly. Keep us always mindful, dear mother, that whatever we do to the least of our brothers and sisters, we do to your loving son. May his words live in our hearts, influence our lives. Let us continue our prayers. Mary, humble handmaid of the Lord, we need your example today to discover God's will in our lives. You always gave God the first place in your life. Just as you pondered his word in your heart, help each of us to seek his plan in all that we do. Give us the conviction that nothing is more important than doing the will of our Heavenly Father. May we spend each moment in loving and pleasing him. Help us follow your example in proclaiming, I am the servant of the Lord. I will what God wills, is it as he wills it, because he wills it. Mother of perpetual help, your picture reminds us that we are to carry our cross as Jesus did. With courage, he endured injustice, abandonment and betrayal, pain and suffering, even a criminal's death. Mary, we turn to you as our model in suffering and courage. You shared in your son's suffering and death. Now you share in his resurrection. We too share in the cross of Christ, and someday like you, we will share fully in his resurrection. Help us be patient in suffering and to trust in the loving care of our Father in heaven. May those suffering sickness in mind or body experience your son's healing power. Help us follow his example, and through him, with him, and in him, commend ourselves to the care of our heavenly Father. Let us ask Mary to watch over all families. Mother of perpetual help, bless our families with your tender motherly love. May the sacrament of marriage bring husbands and wives ever closer together, that they may always be faithful and love each other as Christ loves us. 
help all mothers and fathers love and cherish the children God has entrusted to them. May they always be models of a truly Christian life. Help all children that they may love and respect their parents. Inspire all people to value Christian marriage and family life. Give us a sense of responsibility that we may do our part in making our homes havens of love and peace. Marry our model. Help every family grow daily genuine love for God and neighbor so that justice and peace may flourish everywhere in the human family. From the first moment of her existence, the Holy Spirit filled Mary with his love. By his power, she became the Virgin Mother of God. Through the same Holy Spirit, she became the perfect wife, the perfect mother. Let us imitate her generosity, her openness to the Holy Spirit, and say, Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your joy and your peace, with your power and your love, with your constant presence within us. Receive the Holy Spirit. May he be with you to strengthen you, above you to protect you, before you to lead you, behind you to encourage you, within you to possess you totally. Through the prayers of St. Alphonsus, through the intercession of our Mother of Perpetual Help, through the merits of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, present in the most blessed sacrament of the altar, may the blessing of Almighty God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain forever. Amen. Thank you, let Mary, your praises we sing, who reigns now with Christ our Redeemer and King. Thank you.